Good evening. Hope you're all doing very well. And a uh, quick hello to my subscribers and uh, as they always say, click the button if you're not. Anyway, it's a quick vid uh, in the house, not out on the camp as you can see, to give you a first look at two new toys, two new sleeping bags. But uh, in quick brief moment before I show you the sleeping bags and give a quick unveil, I'll give you a quick bit of brief info on why I ended up getting these two sleeping bags. So, for you guys who have watched my videos, if you go back two videos ago when I was camping on high wheel haze with Simon, Real Brian, Real Brian, um, middle of the night, I had a problem with my mat. So in that video, I actually show you my mat that I'm using, sleeping bag I'm using, and my tiny stupid ultralight pillow. Now, overnight, the mat itself swelled up in the middle of the mat, size of a watermelon, right between my legs. It was rather weird and obscure, and what was going on, didn't know, middle of the night. Next morning, I tell the webbing had broke inside the mat, and it all expanded, and as a result of it, it was damaged and broken. The mat itself, there was just a short of two years old, so I took it back to the store I bought it from. Amazing little outdoor shop called Outdoor and Active, based in Western Supermare uh, in Somerset. Amazing customer service. They got it sent back to Exped. Exped agreed it was a fault and replaced it. Now that particular mat was a Downmat 7 Ultralight. They actually no longer make it. So I'll just grab you the details of the new one. Here's what I made here. So this is the replacement details. It is now a Downmat Ultralight Winter M, medium size. It's now nine centimeters thick. It is now rated down to something ridiculous of minus 32 degrees centigrade. Now, I used this map for the first time on my last video out with Simon when we camped literally 100 yards in the car. Now, I was in my Anyan 2 tent that I haven't used for a long time, um, pondering something at the time, used a new mat, and it was unbelievably warm. And even in my RAV500 sleeping bag, which is a bag I generally use for summer use, or spring autumn, it was just too hot. I had the zip fully undone, boiling hot, tent doors open all night, it was just a mesh door open in the front of it. And as a result of that, I decided I want to change the sleeping bags. The Anyan 2 I really took out for a last blast, wasn't planning on keeping it. I do have a Hilleberg Acto and a Hilleberg Sulu. The Sulu is my newer tent, which I'm kind of expecting to use more over winter. I've got a few good plans for that, so stay tuned to there. And as a result of that, I sold the Hilleberg Anyan, sold my RAB 500 sleeping bag, and also sold the RAB 700 sleeping bag. Uh, the entire funds of the tent and two sleeping bags went back into buying the new items. Don't know why I'm calling them the new items, you know what they are, because the video says they're a Rab Mythic 200 and 400 sleeping bag, so they are. So anyway, but before we move on, so I move you around there, and then I can squeeze in here. So this is the new mat. Again, it comes with the snozzle bag. Snozzle! My amazing little pillow that I've used for years, that stays with me, and that's the mat. Not that stupidly big, uh, it is a Dangmat Ultralight Winter M as I mentioned, and the details say it is 630 grams, so 630 grams rated to a minus 32 degrees Celsius, probably beyond anything I'm ever going to use. But after doing lots of research and after using this bag the other week, noticed that having a decent sleeping bag and a decent mat, it's the mat actually that has more relevance and more importance in most cases, as it's the actual mat that insulates you from the ground, insulates you from the cold. So kind of as a weird little metaphor, I suppose, is if you're going to buy a decent sleeping bag and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a sleeping bag, it's like buying an expensive car. But not having a decent mat below you is like sticking a set of remolded tires literally on the car, which is 
ridiculous. So, discovered having a super duper mat that is really well insulated, gets rid of the cold. I do not need as thick, heavy uh, sleeping bag. So I have bought two new sleeping bags, as I said, a Rab Mythic 200 and 400. The box behind you is open, purely because the store, again, Outdoor and Active, based in Western Supermare, who I contacted after their great customer service of this. Uh, yeah, they ordered them in, and also got a Rab Silk Liner to go inside the sleeping bags. So the Rab Mythic 200 is 445 grams, rated down to about one degree. By putting the silk liner in there, I reckon that adds two to three degrees centigrade too. Uh, the Rab 400 uh, Mythic sleeping bag is rated down to about minus six. So as far as I'm concerned, the 400 is my winter sleeping bag and the 200 is my summer break sleeping bag. Anyway, let's get them open. So we have two brand new sleeping bags. Never looked at them before. Oh no. What do we got where? Let's go this one first. My god, that is stupidly, stupidly light. So this is... That is the Mythic 200. So let me just pop you to one side. And we can get you out. This is stupidly, stupidly light. At the moment, I've got the weight at the bottom of here. So it's stew. We have a storage bag. We do, we have a compression bag. So the compression bag is actually a dry bag. The bag itself though does have hydrostatic down, so it will get damp without getting damaged. And it is Protex Quantum on the coating. So that is the dry bag. That is the storage bag. And if I remember, that's exactly the same as my previous ones, although the damp side's more. Yeah, this thing is rather small, or rather light, I should say. So it's pretty much no frills, minimal, usual true draw cords around the neck, around the hood, the neck being the baffle. And so this is gonna be a challenge in the tent because the zip, to keep the weight down, is only a quarter size zip. It literally is, well, as the saying goes, quarter the length of the bag. So that is it. So yeah, stupidly light. Really good quality feel on there. It's a 90-10 down insulated layer. As I said, it's one of the best quality downs actually wrap, stock and make. And by all accounts, in their opinion, one of the best downs you can buy. So. Stupidly light, stupidly small, and uh, should quite easily go in the compression bag. I guess the question is now is how small does it go? Oh, no. This is the first time we're being squished into here, but it's still pretty super duper puffy.
All right, doing it up. That is first thing, pretty small. That will probably compress even more than that. I've seen a few reviews where people use it in compression bags and got it down to about two thirds that size again. That, with the bag, is 450 ish grams. Absolutely lighter better. So, this is the big brother. I'm not going to go through loads of detail with this one because, in essence, it is the same sleeping bag. Albeit, from my point, it'll be a winter sleeping bag. So the compression bag is a little larger as expected. Again, incredibly light. This is 660 grams on a four season sleeping bag rated down to minus six. So there you go, so that is pretty much my setup for summer use. I may well change the mat because it's a bit overkill to be honest for summer use, but it does allow you to have a super duper lightweight sleeping bag without getting cold. Uh, that weight set up there with the mat sleeping bag, the silk liner inside the sleeping bag and the small X-Bed ultralight pillow. That entire setup there is 1.3 kilos. It was pretty light, that's a sensible setup. Uh, probably would change out the mat really for summer use because that is overkill for summer use, but as I mentioned, it's allowing you to have a super lightweight uh, sleeping bag on top by insulating from the ground. Um, I reckon you can probably get away with a smaller mat. Certainly I've got it being nine centimeters thick, uh, being in the acto, it's gonna push you higher up and with the sloping ends on the tent, it might be pushing your head or face slightly in toward the material. So we're gonna see how we get on with that. But um, I will look to change the mat at some point for more summer use and get something slightly smaller and thinner. Thinking of some other thermal rest mats that are about six centimeters thick uh, and around about 400 grams. So that would log off additional, a little bit of weight. Not really the weight saving, it's just more practical, more sensible. Um, and say, being a winter sleeping bag, uh, sorry, winter mat, more relevant for winter use. Uh, I don't really wanna use the thing all year round. So let me spin you around, that is the, Mythic 400 in its puffed up uh, storage bag. So that's going to be uh, being stored away soon, ready for winter use. And in the meantime, I have just received a text from Simon, who I'm hoping to grab with today, uh, today, this weekend, saying, email. Well, let's check the email. And what do we have? So Simon has said, we're on. I reckon we should do Bobmin. Bobmin more. Blah 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 blah. Kilmore tour onwards, and then by that we're ah beyond there. We're flying by the seat of our pants. I've no idea what we're doing. Don't have a map, and haven't been there for thirty years. Either way, gonna be some good fun. Come on, piss off! I'll see you on Bob Minmore.